Okay, everybody, sorry about that on my last video. Um, I was trying to hurry up when I just should have not even worried about it. And I'm going to do a three-part series. Um, it's going to be titled Religion 1, 2, and 3. Um, but before I go into what I'm going to finish, um, I asked the Lord if he wanted me to say anything. Um today and um he led me to lamentations and it says no one neither the kings of the earth nor any other inhabitant of the world believed that any adversary any foe could penetrate within the gates of jerusalem amen so um you know i'm talking about it um if you want to catch up on what i'm saying uh just go check out the video i did before this which is titled religion and it has a cross on the on the image um of the video which i just figured out how to do that so that's pretty cool but um it says there this is first peter uh one therefore with minds that are alert and fully sober set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when jesus christ is revealed at his coming as obedient children do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance but just as he who called you is holy so be holy in all that you do for it is written be holy because i am holy since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear for you know that it was not the perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors but with the precious blood of christ the lamb without blemish or defect he was chosen before the creation of the world but was revealed in the last times for your sake through him you believe in god who raised him from the dead and glorified him and so your faith and hope are in god so this is big right here in 22 now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth obeying the truth which is the gospel which is the word of god where it talks about man keeping the commandments right sorry um okay now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that so that you have sincere love for each other love one another deeply from the heart for you have been born again not of uh, not of perishable seed but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of god for all peoples are like grass and all their glory is like the flower uh, flowers of the field the grass withers and the flowers fall but the word of the lord endures forever so um you guys and remember not not everybody who's in that day is going to um be able to come in and a lot of people are going to say lord lord you know and he's going to say depart from me i never knew you and that means his holy spirit wasn't in in those people they know of god they know him but they didn't believe, they didn't have a receptive relationship. They didn't really truly love the Father. They didn't obey the commandments. Because in Revelation it says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have testimony of Jesus Christ. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they might have right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates in the city. 
you guys if we look at um if we look at the the lives that um the apostles and the disciples lived it was um a holy way of life and a lot of people look at that and they they think oh that that's not fun and and they they dread it but you guys that um this is about giving glory to god and it is eternal happiness these people the god's first fruits whole uh chosen children they they want to give glory to god they were chosen before the foundation of the earth to be who they are today and to be made manifest and so um yeah you guys in the millennial reign it is going to be a holy and and religious um in a a, a a religious a correct religion the way the the religion that those scriptures talk about that's the type of religion and it's going to be glorious you guys it's going to be beautiful and people are going to love one another and the earth is going to be filled with his glory and so if you read ezekiel 39 40 41 42 and 43 it'll show you what what um what it's going to be like you know how how services are going to happen and um uh you guys also you know one of the commandments and this is also super important is um is keep holy the sabbath day and i want to explain why that is why the Lord says that. And why he says that is because on the seventh day, the Lord rested from doing his, from creating his creation. And all of the angels and all the heavenly hosts came around the Lord, the presence of the Lord, and gave him glory. And, um, and so when we the the sabbath this year according to the enoch solar calendar that was found in the um caves of qumran this year the um the the sabbath is on sunday and it used to be previously on saturday so now this is a year um acceptable to the lord because most all people are going to church on on the Sabbath and so you know not you guys and of course all these religions you know they're not in the whole truth they might believe they believe in certain things that are true but they're not preaching and living the entire truth but nevertheless it is still giving glory to God and that's a good thing and when we celebrate when we keep the Sabbath holy you guys what it does is every seven days in heaven they come around and give glory the angels and all the heavenly hosts they they give glory to god and so that we're syncing up with um with what they're doing in heaven and that gives god much glory and all this is about you guys is giving god glory this whole thing this whole thing that we're going through and the transition that's about to happen is about giving glory to God because the world for a long time has been giving glory to Satan, whether directly or indirectly. And so what is happening now is the transition and, and the people who God has chosen are being made manifest and we are about to enter into the millennial reign and we are going to this is about in this thousand year period is to give glory to god for these thousands of years you guys and it's going to be amazing and beautiful and it's going to be good and he's going to bless us with so many things you guys life is good when you um life is so good you guys and he gives us so many blessings when we follow the things that we should follow for our own good not to mention you guys 
we should be wanting to do those things out of love and obedience for him. These are good things for us to do, and it's good for our family. So, um, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to do um, another video, a last video in this series um, about the Lamb of God. So, anyway, I love you guys, and God bless.